Have you seen the new Comres poll that shows that 41% of British adults, that's two in five, agree there's a need for a new centre ground political party in Britain? It's an interesting one, this, because at face value, a lot of people are going to assume that this means people want some kind of uh, moderate political party that's basically left wing. I'll get into that in a minute. But the poll found a majority of Liberal Democrat voters, 58% of them, agree there's a need for a new centre ground political party in Britain. And what that means is a majority of Liberal Democrat voters means there's gonna, there needs to be room for a new party like the Liberal Democrats. Um, interesting. As do more than two in five Labour voters. And again, this means a different thing. Labour don't think that they're hard left. Of course they don't. And most of the supporters, the voters, not so much members, but their voters, are pretty moderate, normal people. Centre ground. Interesting. Uh, half of UKIP voters, 47%. Again, these people are not the right-wing crazy people that people say they are. These are normal, moderate uh, British people who probably previously voted Labour. So 47% of UKIP voters think there's room for a centre ground party as well, and over a third of Conservatives. So really what we're told in this poll is not just that there's room for a new centre ground party and that centre ground party has a universal definition. Actually what was shown is that voters from different backgrounds, particularly two different backgrounds, believe there's room for a new party. Now the majority of Liberal Democrat voters, which is not that many, 58% um, agree that they, there should be a new centre ground party like the Liberal Democrats. I think we can just ignore that for the time being. Because when you add up the Labour voters, Conservatives and UKIP voters, that's 4 million plus the tens of millions of Labour and Conservative. That's a significant portion of the population who want a centre ground party. And if they vote Labour, UKIP or Tory, then centre ground isn't going to mean left wing which is interesting, because it shows us real room for a new political party in Britain. But here's what makes it interesting, it's that the politicians don't get that. They think that there's a universal definition of centre ground, and they're so out of touch with public opinion that they think that centre ground, that centrist, means left-wing, pro-EU, and okay on immigration. But that's not what the normal people of this country think. So, there is also news coming with this poll, that a new political party is being set up. Allegedly, uh, Tony Blair's son is involved with it. Tony Blair denies any involvement at all. Uh, but there's a story here in The Guardian. Let's find it. Uh, new centrist party gets £50 million backing to break mould of UK politics. Hmm. So it says, a new political party with access to up to £50 million in funding has been secretly under development for more than a year by a network of entrepreneurs, philanthropists and donors keen to break the Westminster mould the Observer can reveal. Hmm. Well, it's led by multi-millionaire Simon Franks. It's had full-time staff for a year. This isn't a grassroots operation. This is coming from the top down. And, I mean, look, look at the rise of the Labour Party. It came... Nowhere. It came from the bottom up with all the right intentions uh, all that time ago. Now we've got this new party that's allegedly going to break the Westminster mould by starting off in the same way that all these big parties now exist. It's starting off with a crap load of money trying to appeal to the normal people of England. How's that going to work? How's that going to work when you don't have a grassroots organisation? You've just been under secret development for the last year with 50 million quid in your pocket. And you're going to break the Westminster mould and bring politics back to the people? I'm not really sure about that one. It's funny, isn't it? It's a new Labour party. It is basically new Labour. Uh, here's some of the things they talk about. They say, um, well, they actually do say on here that they want to make some kind of effort on immigration. But you know that's just lip service. You know, this is a party that wants to... So in the article, there are some policies outlined here. It says potential policy proposals include asking the rich to pay a fair share of tax. That's fairly populist. Better funding for the NHS. I mean, that's a universal thing that every single politician says ever. Um, and improved social mobility. I mean, again, they're just words. What exactly do they mean by that? However, it says it also backs centre-right ideas on wealth creation and entrepreneurship. New Labour, Tony Blair. You can see his fingers have been in this. Uh, and it's keen to explore tighter immigration controls. Now that's the word that Theresa May uses. She never talks about a reduction in immigration, she talks about c 
controlling immigration. Because controlling immigration can mean it goes up or down. It just means you're controlling it. It means you're ensuring that a certain kind of immigration comes in at whatever level because you're controlling it. So when it says they're keen to explore tighter immigration controls, clearly they're out of uh, sync with public opinion on this. Um, the polls actually show time and time again that people want immigration cut. So there's a poll here. A recent poll showed that 44% are positive about immigration's impact in Britain. Only 44%. 56% want immigration reduced. Now, if this was going to be a centre-ground party, if these people had their heads screwed on, if these people knew the price of, pint, price of a pint of milk and knew what normal life was like, they would know that a centre-ground party needs to appeal to people who are concerned about immigration. But these people will never get it. These are the Tony Blair types. These are even... These are the modern, even Corbynista types who are completely out of touch with public opinion, completely out of touch with life outside of London. They'll never get it. And you know what? I hope this new party starts and I hope they blow that 50 million quid and I hope it blows up in their face. If you like that and want to see more, remember to like and subscribe and download the new Rebel app from the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store.